Welcome back everyone to more MTG Arena. We're playing Angel Tribal with Guiana as the commander and this hand sucks. Ah, uh, yeah, it sucks. Uh, no, it's okay. We'll keep it. Because Guiana can top for tap, tap, top, tap. Mm-hmm. Ow. Ephemerate. Okay. So I think we're gonna, we'll be able to play planes, go into Guiana, go into Heraldic Banner, play an Angel of some sort. I think we'll be fine here. Black Blade, that's, that's quite, that's a good card. That's a good card. Play the Angel, thank you. Um, Heraldic Banner, probably into something. So what do you do? Put a everything counter on? Okay, interesting. Uh, white, because we're white weenie. So uh, we will swing because we have vigilance and flying, so we soar right above him. We can't ephemerate so that we can uh, flicker Giada in case she's targeted. Which is kind of my priority focus right now because she's kind of what will get me into these other angels that'll be super expensive. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped my phone. And almost hit my nuts. That could have been bad. Um, okay, equips it to Omo. Resolve. So here's what we do. This is interesting. So if you block, right? Let's say you flicker Giada. Omo is considered blocked. Um, nah, we don't need that. Um, which is interesting because now we can exile Omo. Um, proliferate? Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, dude. Then we could swing again. So now he has to spend extra mana to recast his commander, all because we, we flickered and blocked. So that, pro tip, that's how you can save some damage, um, if that's something you have issue with in certain situations. Um, well, it looks like we're going to wedding announcement. Then we swing. Then we prototype. Boom! Okay, we're kinda cooking so far. So he has to he has to deal with Steel Seraph because of the damage. He'll be dead in four turns. Um, but he also has to deal with the Giada, so he has a few things he has to deal with, and we'll constantly have tokens peppering him. Um, and we do have chump blockers, so I'm not too worried about this, even though he has a 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, talking with hexproof, yeah, we're not too. Honestly. No, we'll block. We'll be safe, we'll block. We will be safe. So he's gonna be taking eight dam- Ooh, nine damage here. Okay. Okay, then we can play Paladin class. Um, we're going to give... Hmm. We're gonna give Steel Seraph Vigilance. So that we can block the... The... Merfolk if we really want to. Drew a card off of Wedding Announcement. Six mana, you can do a lot with it. It's not over, over. But he does have to deal with these angels or else it's gonna get a little too out of hand for him. We're actually gonna take this damage. He, d he does have mana saved up, which I think is interesting. So you might have something to double damage, but we're not going to block. Ow. Okay. No double damage shenanigans. Oh, brother. Okay. Well, we found the issue, lads. Gonna get Angel back in here. Rally the ranks. Angel... Um, I mean, it doesn't matter, Vigilance, I guess. 
Then we get a Telkin, that's a 4-3, so... Oh, if he keeps returning stuff to hand, we might struggle a bit here. A Shia! Okay. Four mana, then, he has? Yeah, okay. We win the first one. Uh, Angels are just, like, very straightforward, but very good, I would say. In terms of the tribes. I mean, dragons I think are better, but... Uh, angels, demons, dragons are kind of hovering in the same place in my mind. Dragons being a bit more standout. More fun, too, I think. Angels are kind of boring. Sith. Ugh, okay. Okay, we have a Sithis battle, which is unfortunate. Uh, we're going to have to mulligan that. We need something a bit quicker. That's still not quicker, but it's a little better. It's a little better. Uh, plain signet. Oh, boy. I actually think we gotta do this. Signet Giada. That's probably what I'm thinking. She could probably exile it with some sort of enchantment, but... We, we gotta play it. We gotta play it. Okay. Alright, cast a spell with mana value 5 or greater draw a card. Okay. So he's gonna be drawing a lot. Probably he's got another enchantment that's like 1 mana. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Destroy evil's pretty good against Sithis. We'll just get some damage in. Um. We'll then tap Giada to get... Enters or dies. Okay, so Faceless Agent we want in then. Sarah Per- okay. Okay, so we have an instant to deal with Sithis, potentially. Or a more problematic enchantment. Because odds are he's gonna, at some point, exile one of my- What's that do? What'd that do? Is that sorry, I guess I- Oh, okay. Sure, yeah. Resolve. Does he, what does he exile? Giana or Faceless Agent? Really? Really? Huh. I don't know if I agree with that. That's honestly not what I expected, but we are going to destroy it because I want it back. <laughs> and we're not going to bother with Sithis, he can just recast her. So I'm not too paranoid with getting that back. Um. Okay. So here we swing. We have a 5 6, so his attention is going to be drawn to the Sarah Baryon. Um, probably exile it with him. Um, he has plenty of cards too. 5 mana, yeah. Maybe drop some mana reducers for our enchantment affinity esque stuff. Affinity is not the word I'm looking for, but making him cost less. CMC reducers. If he's smart, he gets rid of Giada. Um, exile, what is the exile? Okay, I see that's... I, I get why he does that, but I, I just, I don't agree. Because we'll just, we're still gonna out pretty much everything him, so we're, we're just gonna attack. Because I can just simply drop more stuff down, so... I guess I should have played that first, but... Because so, now he has to deal with the 5-5 five, five and a 6-6, six, six, when he could have just been dealing with a 3-3 three, three and a 6-6. Six, six, or a 5-6, I don't even know what. 2-1, yeah, 5-6. And granted, sure... I don't know. That's just me. I, th I think if he got rid of Giada, I would have been further behind than I would be now. Defense of the heart. Uh, three more creatures. Sacrifice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> End step or upkeep? Upkeep. Okay. 
I still think we win though. Yeah, we still. We're fine. Because we got Bloodline Pretender, Shapeshifter. Um, rally the ranks, we're, we're sitting fine. Interesting. What do you mean? Oops. Well, he probably had something else better. Um, we do this because we want the angels to have. So this will be a whole four more damage that he's got to deal with. Swing. Um, we're actually gonna give this flying. Um, which so this would be seventy. Oh, we win. <laughs> angels, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he kind of he. Uh, I don't know what he had in hand, but if he had anything, I would have gotten Giada. Were to get rid of Giada, that slows an angel deck down significantly. It doesn't seem like it, but it, it does. Next one. Bishop of Wings, okay. Hmm. I like this hand despite having higher mana cost up. So I think we're gonna keep it. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. He's playing Orzhov, so he'll have removal. A bit more likely than other decks, but um, we'll see what he does about Bishop. Probably remove it. You see, and this is another thing. Whenever um, a lot of players that uh, that uh, see stuff like that, like uh, any creature, they're just ready to pounce on the the kill spell for it. When that's really not the right move, like Angel of Unity doesn't matter here. So it's just it doesn't make sense to. To kill it like that but yeah I just um so even now like if I play here like wait can I even sacrifice this artifact target creature why can't I use it oh I need a creature to put it on then so if I play Lulu right and if he kills it like there's just like, in, I don't know. He's just wasting time, really. Um, target creature control explores. So now he should kill it. Okay, well. And this is why you don't kill stuff right away. Because now I he, I actually have somewhat of a threat. I guess it's not really a huge threat, but. Five mana. He needs two more mana to get his commander out. Commander, quote unquote. Search your library card. Okay, well. I'm anticipating uh, a, a whole tutor. Okay. Hmm. Um, probably Vanquisher banner, honestly. Uh, Angel. Because now we draw a bunch of cards. And he will be able to, uh, I guess he'd be able to exile Vanquisher's banner with. I am the I'm content here. sacrificing, that's fine. Never heard that is quite okay. Uh, okay, um, Harold's Horn. Angel, obviously. No surprise there. Um, we'll explore. Hopefully get a land. Um, so if I'm him, I'm getting rid of the Vanquisher's banner now. But if he can do both, which he probably can with, yeah, Kaya's coming out, so Vanquisher's banner probably leaving. In, deal some damage, get out. Sounds easy enough. Really? First you, then your ghost. <laughs> really? <laughs> My guy, I don't. That's not the move, dude. That's, oh uh, man. Okay. Um. Uh, exhale. Okay. So we Giada. He probably doesn't have 
angels in the deck, but if he does, more power to him. Um, Righteous Valkyrie, okay, we're gonna kind of pop off now. Because Righteous Valkyrie, as you can see, um, whenever another angel or cleric enters the battlefield, they gain life equal to its toughness, and that triggers with Giada's little thingy here. So instead of two life, we're gonna gain... Seven life. <laughs> And then when we have seven more life than our starting total, every all creatures get plus two plus two. So what he should do? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um. So we can get Avison here if we really want to. Uh. That being said, he does. Um. Have of quite a few ways to uh. Deal with our stuff now. But, um, we will... Actually, let's do this. Okay. Whoops. Um, I guess we'll do this. Why not? Okay. So this is kind of interesting, because we can use Ephemerate to kind of flicker stuff. And maybe... I, I kind of want to make him waste a... Uh, Either Planeswalker stuff or something he has in his hand. Nope, you don't get it. Alright, waste something in your hand. There you go. Then you can cast it. <laughs> sure, bud. Sure, dude. Rise and shine. Okay. Pacifism. Interesting. Doesn't help us too much. Um, we'll slap pacifism on Sarah, I guess. It doesn't really matter. He's kind of weirdly out manaing us and he just keeps removing stuff. So That's just a story. Which I guess is the whole point of Kaya. But like, damn, dude, I cannot catch it. Okay. This is just removal of the game. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Holy card draw. Okay, yeah, we kind of... Well, Giat is dead because of Liliana, I bet. Or that. That's also a way to deal with it. Okay. Damn, I can't get anything to, to stay. Goodbye, Avison. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This is pretty bad for us. Um, okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um. Hmm. Damn. You don't have anything to play. Yeah, we can't. We're just gonna... We keep... We unfortunately are just so far behind and we keep drawing stuff with Vanquisher's banner, but we just can't get stuff to stick on the battlefield. And uh not gonna lie, I got videos to make, so <laughs> one more. Ew. Get out of the magic game, you buffoon. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, ah, uh, yes. Angel decks with two planeswalkers. Get out of here. Sure. Honestly, that's kind of funny. Shoda. Legendary tribal. Ugh. Shut up, bro. Come on! Okay. I'm sure that was lovely for all audio people. Show me what you've got! Don't counter it, 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 don't counter it. Hey! Yeah. Don't kill it! Don't kill it! Don't kill Yada. What she she's done nothing to you. She's just an adorable angel. <sighs> Sigh. 
Well. Kellen joins up. Um, Raldic Banner. Quite. Just that we can recast Giada. Hmm. Oh, Melira? Melira? Ornithopter. Uh, I guess Guiana? Don't counter it. <laughs> Don't counter it. Why would you do such a thing? You swine. He's getting a, he's getting a swamp or something. I don't know what he's doing. His turn. Okay, Jota's probably coming down here. Seven, seven, bruh. Yeah, no blocks here. This is the first. Oh. So does he get those plus one? Hmm. I think he keeps those even if I exile him. Oh, but Joe is such a problem. I think Joe has got. Joe has gotta go. Joe has gotta go. Don't spell Pearson. Okay. 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 Zero. Absolutely not. Nothing else gets counters but me. Wahaha. No. Okay, it was him getting the plus two plus two from Joda. That made him a seven seven. I mean five's still a lot of damage, but it's less than seven. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I love Ember Cleave. Oh, I remember when that was in that shit was in standard. Oh my goodness. Well, wow. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't think we do much about this, so I think we just take the loss here. Kinda lame, but but it, it 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 do what it do. Wait, what's the ability here? What's the cancel? I I'm, that's news to me. I didn't know it could specialize. Uh, choose a color, just card a card that color, and that creature per. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, either way, bye. <laughs> I mean, we gotta deal with a fucking 6-6 six, six with Ember Click. We're not, we can't, we can't deal with that. At least not efficiently and still survive. Um, I think we're just gonna leave that here. Kind of lame ending, but um, let me know if y'all want some more MTG Arena shenanigans. Love y'all, God bless.